Hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss, and like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass, I perform feats of strength like bending steel and breaking chains to bring my motivational speech to life. In this video, I show some highlights and behind the scenes as I utilize my unique presentation style to motivate a construction company to work together to be safer. Come along for the ride. All right, so the motivational presentation is for a construction-based company out of New Jersey, which is something that I'm uniquely qualified to handle because I am bending and breaking things that they use in, in their everyday lives. <clears throat> the presentation was kind of a last minute thing, uh, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to try to prepare something to be custom to the, the event goals, but after reviewing my notes from our discovery call and after having a chance to research the company, I finally got what I something that I feel comfortable with. Now it's time to rehearse. So now that I've nailed down your attention, let's talk about the reason that I'm here. One in five workplace deaths are directly due to the construction industry. Back in 2021, one in five deaths. Back in the year 2021, one in five workplace deaths happened within the construction industry. And of also in 2021, the ratios of slips and falls that resulted in death, nearly half were in the construction industry. Now, I'm not here to talk to you about statistics. What I'm trying to do is prevent you from becoming a statistic. And you do that with strength. But I'm not talking about the strength of the individual. I'm talking about the strength of the team, of the people that you surround yourself with. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is step up and be accountable for not just your own health, but your friend's health. If you see something going wrong, say something. Look out for each other. The strength of all of us working together to keep ourselves safe is gonna be way, way, way stronger than one person trying to keep themselves safe. Nobody gets to the top by themselves. It takes a group of people. It takes the power of a team. And when you hear my story and the things that I've learned along the way, you'll see for yourself the power of learning from others. I think that one was pretty good, but I'm gonna give it another couple goes. So hopefully I've nailed down your attention because I wanna talk about the reason I'm here. One in five workplace deaths happened within the construction industry. And back in 2021, Fatal trips and falls. Well, that one was a bust. So now that I've nailed down your attention, let's talk about the reason that I'm here. Back in the year 2021, one in five workplace deaths happened within the construction industry. And the statistics around fatal falls, nearly half of those people that died from slips and falls happened within the construction industry. Now I'm not here to talk about statistics. I'm here to try to prevent you from becoming a statistic. And to stop yourself from becoming a statistic, you do it with strength. But not the strength of an individual. You do it with the strength of a team. If each one of you looks out for each other person, you'll be able to keep each other safe by leveraging on it. <sighs> All right, so hopefully I've nailed down your attention because I wanna talk about the reason that I'm here. Back in 2021, one in five workplace deaths were the result of people within. 
All right, so hopefully I've nailed down your attention because I wanna talk about the reason that I'm here. Back in 2021, one in five workplace deaths happened within construction. And falls that resulted in fatality, construction, well, I can't do that. All right, so now that I've nailed down your attention, Let's talk about the reason that I'm here. Back in 2021, one in five workplace deaths happened within the construction industry. And the construction industry was also responsible for nearly half of the falls that related in fatalities. Now I'm not here to talk about statistics. I'm here to try to prevent you from becoming a statistic. And we prevent ourselves from becoming a statistic through strength but not the strength of an individual. I'm talking about the strength of a team. So try learning from me. We all have this common goal of getting out of this thing alive. And you get out of this thing alive by working together because together we're stronger. So step up and learn from each other. Teach each other. Step up into your role and trust each other to step into their roles to keep us all safe. We all want to get out of this thing alive, so try working together. No person that made it to the top got there completely on their own. We all need help along the way. And when you hear my story and the things that I've learned along the way, you'll see that I wasn't a result of myself doing these things. I was a result of learning from others. It is the day before the presentation. The plan is to uh, train my clients at the studio tonight, as well as tomorrow morning, and then leave from the studio straight to where the presentation will be held. But for now, I gotta pack up. This thus far is the inventory for the show. Steel chain, check. This expansion belt, check. Brass padlock, check. Shackles, check. 60 penny nail. Check. Carriage bolt. Check. License plate. Check. Wooden board, now reinforced for structural stability and because it looks cool. Check. Frying pan. Check. Wrench. Check. Hope that one will go. Structural steel bar. Check. 5 8 3 bar. Check. Deck of cards. Check. Copy of my book. Available on Amazon. Check. So I got a splinter while I was at work today. I don't think that this will hold me back, but we'll see. Alright, I think we're here. Yeah, this is the right place, alright. No elevator. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is break free of these using my strength. First, we'll start with the lock. Yeah. Let's get one in from the logo. chest expansion belt that is attached to the steel chain. Oh. Spike, also known as a 60 penny nail. Say I nailed that one.
Yeah, you might want to read those out. In the state of New Jersey, license plates need to be surrendered to the DMV or destroyed. So hopefully this goes well, because I really don't want to go there. If anything happens to me, do me a favor and tell my wife I love her. <laughs> but make sure to clear my browser history. Seriously? Yep. Hit it like a man. <laughs> now? Yeah. Sounds <laughs> All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Round of applause for a bottom two. Is he a snap or what? It normally doesn't take this long. Okay. So, Martine. What you are going to do, you're going to stick this between your legs like so, right? Now, what I have here is a wooden board, reinforced so that it doesn't buckle under the pressure. Hold that there like that, please, and hold it nice and tight. Get your fingers into there. Yeah, hold it nice and tight. And then make sure that that is up. Just let go of that a little bit. Yeah, and I'm going to push this way back. Okay. Hold it right there like that. Now, Martine, what I have here is a nail, right? And what I have here is a dinky little shop rag. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is take this nail and put it through the wooden board, hopefully popping the balloon on the other side. It's a feat I like to call a DIY vasectomy. <laughs> Don't worry, I learned how to do it on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I hardly ever mess this up. <laughs> it's a little bit slippery here. <laughs> Don't worry, it probably won't affect anything. It's always so awkward when I'm staring at another guy's crotch and breathing. <laughs> 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 oh, real quick. <laughs> Before I do this feat, please don't try this at home. Trained professional, the danger of this feat is very real. I know of three other highly respected strength performers that put the nail through their hand instead of the wooden board. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me today. Oh. No worse for the wear, right? <laughs> Round of applause for our team, please. Thank you so much. So hopefully I've nailed down your attention because I want to talk about the reason that I'm here. Back in 2021, one out of five worksite injuries happened within the construction industry. 
And of all the deaths that resulted from slips and falls, half of them were within the construction industry. Now, I'm not here to talk about statistics. I'm here to tell you how to get to the top without becoming a statistic. And you get to the top without becoming a statistic through strength. But I'm not talking about the strength of the individual. I'm talking about the strength of the team. See, you all need to look out for each other because we all want the same thing, to get to the top without getting seriously injured or even dying. And that happens when you step up and you take responsibility for your friend next to you. And they do the same and everybody does the same. That is how you get to the top. And getting to the top, success, isn't an individual effort. It always comes from the group. Success is a team effort. Nobody gets to the top by themselves. And when you hear my story and the things that I've learned along the way, you'll see for yourself. This is structural steel. Normally I have to explain what people use this for, but I think you guys already know. But I use it as a symbol of something that is believed to be impossible. Structural steel. And this is why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> Nothing's impossible. Wrench. You guys saw it was moving though, right? <laughs> That's the thing, when it bends a little bit, it's such a tease, you know? I apologize, I don't think this one's gonna go. I recognize that logo. I've taken my kids to playgrounds that you guys have built. So I thank you for that because playgrounds are way cooler than when I was a kid. So, with my kids, over time, all those days of laughter add up. 
just like with the British cycling team. All those tiny little improvements add up. Eventually, over time, all the cards add up to a full deck. eighths of an inch thick. These ridges here are what prevents it from moving around in concrete. That's what digs straight into my nose. Let's just say it's not ribbed for my pleasure. Four, three, two, one. vacation good of success and that's my story what happens next is up to you you've all been awesome thank you so, I just got back from doing the presentation and wanted to give some thoughts on it while it was still fresh in my mind before my clients get here that is I thought the presentation itself went well but there is room for improvement as there almost always is but there are some somewhat glaring errors for whatever reason, in the beginning of the presentation, I was tripping on my words. It's ironic because that's something I've said hundreds of times before when I'm introducing myself and introducing the feats. Um, but the important part is that the customized portion itself went well. And I had only rehearsed that a handful of times because it was kind of a last minute customization job. But that was the important part to get across because the other stuff is just fun. Now, prior to leaving, I had gotten splinters in my fingers while I was handling weights, and I even um, smashed my finger within some of the plates, and I was a little bit nervous that that might hold me back during the license plate. But the license plate went like butter, and ironically, I ended up cutting myself a little bit. I didn't notice at the time until I was looking at my hands during the presentation. I'm like, hey, wow, I'm bleeding. But that's one of the things. Um, this stuff is real. Don't try this at home without proper supervision because there is a level of danger inherent in all of the feats. Um, the crowd itself was great. They were a great group. They seemed to be pretty receptive and they were into it from the get-go. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to win over crowds, but these guys were good right from the start. Um, numerous people approached me afterwards to tell me how much they loved it, which is always a, a wonderful feeling and hearing them whisper about the rebar that I used as my finale feat and how impressed they were with that always uh, warms my heart. Is uh, you know, it's like you, whenever you do these things, you're not sure if people are going to care or not, and it was pretty evident that they cared. Now, as for how this is going to change me moving forward, one of the things is with it being a local company and them doing playgrounds all over the state of New Jersey, I take my kids to these things. So every time I take my kids to one of the parks and I see their logo, it's going to bring me back to this. And I'm going to remember the presentation that I did as well as the people I did it for. So anyways, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, subscribe to the channel. And if you think anybody should see this, please share it with your friends. Um, but in the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.